Hello and welcome to another video of War Fishing Gaming. Well, today we're gonna pimp and finergalize this statue. And my inspiration came from the Death Guard Codex. There was a picture of a statue just like these and they finergalized it with barbed wire and things. So we're gonna do the same today. And what you wanna need for this, a scissor, plastic card, a hobby knife and paints and some uh, Nurgle bits. There's no Nurgle without green stuff and a little piece of barbed wire and some sculpting tools, little glass and little styrofoam balls and more Nurglings. So the first step is to remove this heretic symbol filthy Imperium bastards and what you need for this is a hobby knife and carefully cut the signs off of the shield and we're gonna make out of plastic card on top of this shield a new Nurgle shield I've cut down and I filed down the shield so it's now very smooth and now you want to retrace this on a piece of uh, plastic card so you retrace the shield so you know roughly the shape of the shield and this is my design I want um, a fly shape uh, well I'm not that good of a, of a painter the Nurgle symbol with two wings and I will make the spike design uh, twice so it stands out on the, the fly thing and this plastic card is a millimeter and I want the wings in a thicker piece of plastic card that I have laying around so I first cut it very simply with my uh, scissors and then when I cut this design I'm gonna retrace this on a piece of thicker plastic card and sand down the edges. And if you want Nurgle's rod, don't wear a dust mask. So and now we're gonna make the spiky Nurgle symbol, chaos symbol. Retrace your cut it out round form. So you know roughly how big it must be. And then you paint arrowhead, arrowhead. This one is a little bit too big, but. And then you gotta connect it with lines, cut it out, and glue it onto your symbol. So when I've glued it all on the shield. And now we're gonna use some green stuff to uh, make it more Nurgle because this is way too flat. So let's start making some pustules. And I'm going to make a sign over here. And I'm going to make a sign over here, just like this I think, where it stat states blessed by Nurgle's rod so I found a little bit 
of plastic card and now I'm gonna rough it up a little bit with my hobby knife make some carvings into the card make it look damaged, make it look old make it look rotten and the same thing you're gonna do with this plastic card over here at his shield so and I fixed the plate over here and you can see I roughed up the edges a little bit drilled some holes in the wings roughed it up a little bit and I've got a tentacle maker of from uh, Green Stuff World and I'm thinking of making uh, this cloak all uh, dirty and nurgles stuffs everywhere some uh, pustules and some craters and some black hats and all kinds of nasty stuff and I'm thinking of making over here um, a hole that um, this statue has burst open and all the tentacles are coming out of here so I need to drill a hole over here and I want to do the same thing in this corner so I'm gonna drill a hole and rough it up a little bit rough this a little bit up and then we're gonna start green stuffing I did the one at the bottom as uh, yeah well some kind of rehearsal step because we're also gonna do it over here and that I'm going to show you first you take a little uh, green stuff piece of green stuff and I've got a lid of something a little bit of water and then you gotta smooth out your tentacle and when that's smooth well maybe I can make two out of, out of these And then at Green Stuff World you can buy this. It, uh, it has a uh, little bit of structure on uh, this side. So I measure my tentacle. It's about this size. So I will snap it off right here. And then I make on one side a little point. A tip. So, lay down your piece of green stuff and then you just gently roll. Apply a little bit pressure, not too much. You can see that the structure is over here and now I'm gonna turn it around to give the edge a little bit of structure okay and this will be your outcome smooth out the end Over here, a little, a little bit of more of structure. Yeah, really nice, perfect. So and then, you're gonna grab your tentacle place it where you want it and then
Okay. Um, with that step, you're gonna build up the tentacles, and I will make a well, a couple of them. Uh, I think three or so, and then we come back. So I finished a little bit up, and what I do is I have already made a couple of uh, tentacles, and I do this with one hand. Not so handy, but stick them in the hole. Then I push a little bit down. And if he if the tentacle is stuck in the hole, you can form form it in any way it suits your liking. One tentacle left, so I want here a little bit of room for my left, left, last tentacle. Over here, I got a little sculpting tool. With this, I can push the tentacle. So, um, this was it. Now we're gonna make some pustules. And what you're gonna need is green stuff, a little ball, and place it where you want the pustule to be. Always wet your tools when using green stuff, otherwise, uh, the green stuff will stick to your tools. Now flatten a little bit. Just like this. And then grab a dentist pick, a toothpick, and then Make some carvings. And what is very important is that you scrape away the, the green stuff between those ridges. So now it looks like if the pustule is really growing on the, on, on the surface. Wet my tool again. So, 
you got um, this sort of effect and now you grab it is tool with this little ball and you can buy and you can buy this at Green Stuff World it came in a set with all different kinds of uh, end tips and with that end tip you wanna push over here wet your tool make an impression so just like this and then with a smaller end tip you want you can push you can push beneath the edge and then you can So you got a nice hole and now here comes the trick you can buy a bag with uh, small styrofoam uh, balls and you can grab uh, a ball you want to grab and then you want to grab well a bit of large ball and that ball be really careful of your hands you need it to hot to have it So, there's still a little bit of um, water in the hole. So with some toilet paper, I dry the hole. So, and then you can add a little drop of super glue in the hole and just insert your styro styrofoam ball so so now you got a real pustule growing on the armor of your model. You can do it also with uh, regular models and then you therefore you can buy micro balls just to make uh, very small uh, pustules on your uh, plague marines for example with this little pig. So we're gonna continue building the pustules I think over here is a nice spot. Maybe a little bit smaller.
and you can use this technique on anything your buildings your models your tanks your characters you just name it your scenery so we've made the first growth of the pustule it comes around thicker again Suck up the water. It's a little bit too big, this ball. This is the right size. Carefully cut in and half. Little bit of super glue. Second sit done. So over here we're gonna do a small zit pustule. You can also leave one empty if you like and make a push trail out of it with some Nurgle's rod so it just like just this if the zit is popped and the pus is flowing out of the hole
and what you can do with this very small pick is making at the edge some little impressions just to give it a little bit of more of detail and then when you wash the model the wash will sit in the little holes to give to make some really nice effect and I did a big one shin so and I added two more pustules um, at the wing of the fly and over here you can see I added here three balls and one ball and I made a crack over here and I'm going to make this uh, Nurgle's rod everywhere and I'm thinking of uh, cut his head open and then green stuff a brain beneath it but I will try it before and then I'm going to show you the process of making one I've drilled his skull open and I'm starting to uh, green stuff um, some brains I've already with some tools made some impressions over here and you just make the shape and then make the shape a little bit better so you, first you're gonna mark it out how you want to make the brain and then you make the edges bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger, and bigger. so I come back to you guys when that's done so the brains are starting to shape and the key is to wet the green stuff really well with some water and then retrace the lines again and again so you start seeing something like this build it up and finish it's finished when it suits, suits, suits your liking so and when the green stuff work is almost complete you're gonna add some uh, other details and I found some nurglings and well just glue them on just that simple so and I've added some nurglings just for decoration and when I was looking at these uh, nurglings I thought to myself well this is me and this is cool skin just having a blast having a party and over here is Barry doing crazy things wait what is that? What is that? Oh no, Barry has taking a, taking a crap. That's an odd pose, Barry, for taking a crap. Jeez, man. And uh, when I complete the painting, I'm going to uh, wrap his head in the barbed wire. Hmm just to punish him even more and I'm going to wrap some barbed wire around the shielding or I'm gonna wrap some barbed wire around the sword but I will have to check that one out what I'm going to do so thank you guys for watching I think this is a wrap and it's a quick video on how to uh, make Nurgle terrain out of your existing terrain and in the next video we're going to paint the statue up so thank you guys for watching please like subscribe you know the way and 
Bye.